The Buckmaster joining our side? In what kind of scenario have I stumbled in now? Abrarius somehow calmed him down. They had a conversation in a language I've never heard before. And after that, Abrarius gave him back his weapon and armor. I was hesitant about this at first. But it seems obvious that he bears no hatred towards us. As long as he is with Abrarius, he is calm and collected. The Buckmaster is a strange figure. I allow Abrarius that the Buckmaster can join us, but I also want to make sure he is watching over him. If something happens and the Buckmaster snaps, Abrarius will take the blame for this. While I was staring at the Buckmaster, a tap on my shoulder brought me back to reality. It was Hiroaki who smiled at me with Joseph close behind him. We wrapped up things and met in Hiroaki's office, where he gave me the report for a new future city that shall be built in Shem. Hiroaki heavily relied on using our allies to establish a trade route to this new city. I agreed with his views on this and gave him the order to send out the messages to our allies. After we finished this matter, Joseph came back to the topic about the Nexus. He wants to sail towards the old library and reclaim what is still lingering in there. I gave him my seal of approval. But I reminded Joseph that we have to get rid of the Southern Nobles first. Meanwhile, Nibble's mood has not been good. He was insulted that he wasn't allowed to join the assault against the Buckmaster. But as my general, I can't just send him off and leave our soldiers without a leader. Yet, I know that the next task I will give him will lighten his mood. Tomorrow, it is time to take our main army and move towards the Southern Nobles. It is finally time. We have to end the charade of the Empire and let the new kingdom blossom over this world. Hello, my fellow Kanji players, and welcome back to Sands of Hate, a Slave Rebellion, episode 38. In the last episode it was a bit hectic, we captured the Buckmaster and through some conversations with Abrarius, the Buckmaster decided to join us. Now, one could say here now, hey Pat, isn't that a bit too overpowered, having the Buckmaster on our side? Well, yes and no. So, here's the thing, we are reaching the end of the series and we are already pretty freaking strong. I haven't checked out the Salvan Nobles, but I'm 100% or let's say 99% confident that we will just crush them anyway. So I decided to let the Buckmaster join in. Uh, you can see his stats over here, of course, his stats are 100 and everything. We are obviously not going to use his assassination or stealth skills, so that's not the problem. And his weapon skills are only on 90, as I just saw, it's not even 100. So uh, yeah, his HP 150, it's a bit more than a shack, but that's that's also not that big of a deal. Repent over here is probably stronger than the Buckmaster. Might be... Uh, okay, mate, uh, Buckmaster might be a bit stronger in the end, but they're pretty much on the same level. And Abrarius, aka Ethan, wanted to have him with us, so I thought, you know, why not? In this episode, guys, Nibble is going to lead the army towards the Southern Nobles. Nibble was in a bad mood because he wasn't taken to the Buckmaster, but but let's be honest here, the leader of the main army can't just go on a solo mission or like on a small mission. That's why he had to stay back, but no, he will lead the army towards our enemies. Now there is something that I just wanted to check out and it's the HP that we have here. And the question looms, do we need a skeleton repair bed or like do we need to use one? Because I think... Yeah, I think we might, yeah, okay, let's do this. This arm here, okay, okay. Before we start off, I should have done this before, but hey, you know, professional me, 
did, did forget about it. Let me... Okay, I can't put this here, so let me put this in here. But let's, let's use these beds. Alright, so everyone is healed back up. It took me a bit of time, like I said, I could have done this before that, but... Hey, it is what it is. Alright, then let's head down to the south. I have a lot of bread with me. I can buy some food on the way too. That is not the big of a deal. I'm just like I have one advanced sleeping bag with me. I think I'm just gonna buy some sleeping bags on the run. Like there are some way stations we come across. And in these way stations, I'm going to buy more stuff. Doesn't this look good here? Look at all the green. Green, 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 green. I still don't understand why Blister Hill is red and still belongs to the Holy Nation. Actually, you know what? I want to check that out. I want to check out why this still belongs to the Holy Nation. Maybe it's just a, you know, a visual bug? But we'll see. Because the Holy Lord Phoenix is no more. So this should not happen. I'm curious. Yeah, last episode I mentioned <laughs> that we're going to start a new series soon. And many people have already been trying, not trying, but been, been making some characters. But wait for the intro, because there will be, you know, I told you guys we were going to play Sauron Hivers. But there will be a small twist to that, so yeah. But you can already, like, think about the character you want to play, like, think about the character you want to do. You know, maybe write down some stuff. So yeah, guys, I'm excited. This series will be over soon a couple more episodes i guess and then we'll be done and uh, this time around i've decided to make a little bit of a longer outro i'm going to explain this in before the last episode drops i'm going to explain how i'm going to end the series it's going to be a bit of a longer intro we'll see we'll see how everything manages along the way i'm also very excited for the new series things are slowly falling into pieces i already know how i want to do it what i want to do pretty much fleshed out the story, fleshed out the names. There are still a couple of things I I might want to change up, but overall... And this time around, uh, when it comes to narration, I'm going to make it a little bit different than what I usually did. But you will find out, once the series drops, what is going on here. Hold up! Why is the Holy Nation still alive? What happened? Now, this explains a lot. This also explains the assaults on my base. Now, yeah, I did import the game, but I did not import dead characters. So that means the, f the Phoenix can't be here anymore. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to fight this in this episode because it just doesn't make sense. The Phoenix should not be here. I can't wait. Let me, let me try out something, okay? Just want to try out something. I want to see if this is like the Phoenix or maybe this mod has added a different Phoenix. But I can't see the Phoenix. It doesn't look like there's a Phoenix in there. I also don't hear like the Phoenix screaming or something. Holy Lord Phoenix, wait. The Holy Lord Phoenix is here. Yeah, and no, it's, it's pretty much the same person. So something happened. Something happened that should not have happened. That's why we are now... Facing these guys again. Something I really didn't want to do. I'm just curious, like... This battle should be... Way easier than before. And I'm probably just wasting a bit too much time here. Because this right now is a bit more of a social experiment. Because this battle should not happen at this, this point. Because the Phoenix is gone, like... We brought the Phoenix over to the Narcos Disciples. And Blister Hill was destroyed. If you think about it, it's it's really insane, like, what the mod did to the Holy Nation. Like, they are by far one of the strongest factions. No wonder I was struggling so much here. You know, we're gonna speed this up a little bit. We'll see if we win or not. I'm curious if we're going to win this or not. Yeah, I think we're winning this. Okay, we, we, we are winning this, I guess, maybe. Yeah, overall, you can count this as a win. Okay, I was just curious. No worries. Yeah, this should not happen, guys. So what you just saw is uh, something that should have not happened. 
But I just realized something. Was this tower here before? Like this tower behind here? What is this? Isn't this a new tower? Because maybe they updated the mod, and through updating the mod, things differed a little bit. I would not be surprised. Yeah, I might. I might do some shenanigans and remove the Holy Nation. Now, this also explains why we constantly got attacked by them. Because the Holy Lord Phoenix got revived somehow. And I am 100% confident he didn't escape. Like, he was in the claws of the Narcos Disciples. But this here belongs to the Shack, right? Yeah, okay. This belongs to the Shack. Okay, so the Southern Nobles are here in the High Bone Fields. Or not the High Bone Fields, like the Normal Bone Fields. We have Cartoon here. I think Morn belongs to the Tech Hunters. And well, down here we have Clown Steady. Drifter's Last, I think, yes. I think Drifter's Last belongs to the Tech Hunters too. But there are also some smaller slave camps still around. There's a black market here, the sham black market. I want to check this one out too. So, uh, what does it mean is, my guess is we're going over here. And then we're moving down to... Katoon first. Yeah, man, why not? Let's let's take out Katoon first. And then we're moving from Katoon down here. Do I really look like a freaking merchant? So let's hope we don't get stuck running for... Oh, never mind. Okay, wait. We're going on. Seems good. We're just getting chased by dust bandits at this point. Uh, I think everyone is with us. Good. Now I want to check out this way station here. I want to see if they sell some supplies that I might need. Okay, yeah, they have some of these bats that I want to get. I don't know if I need them or not. I'm not sure if the South and Novas are really such a big threat. I'm also going to buy a little bit more food, because you can never have enough food. Like I said, I don't think that the nobles are going to be a big threat, but these are just my five cents. By the way, the swamps will be mainly ignored in this playthrough. There isn't really much that Sin wants to do with the swampers. And I don't think you have to get every faction in in every playthrough, because Kanji is rather big. I'm not going to interact with them all too much. So I want to see who is there. The hounds. Oh, well, the hounds have a black market here. And I guess the black market means they're selling hashish and so on. The hounds run the swamp, but it's fine with me. I just wanted to check if you guys are actually selling something. It's black market. That's fine. I don't want to stick around here anyway. A lot of hounds in here. It doesn't seem to be that there's a trader. Doesn't look... Oh, hold up, there is someone. Oh look, a big thing, it wants to say hello. But they're not really selling much. Thought this black market is more of like, you know, black stuff. So we're now going to the bone fields, which is one of the... Highly infested zones with big things and skin spiders and, you know... The worst thing about this is probably that there are elder big things around, which do a crap load of damage. You always have to take care when you fight big things, because big things usually are not that big of a deal if you, like, take them on with one or two guys, but if they hit your whole squad, Especially an elder big thing can be a problem. Starving bandit limping around completely alone, and the third thought in his mind is I'm going to attack these guys. From all the things he could have done, this was probably the worst move. We have a really nice formation going on here. I like it. In case you guys are wondering, Sin and the others are also back here at the base. Sin, Mirosaki, Laro, Hiroaki. Joseph, these guys are staying here right now. There's currently no reason for these guys to go out. And roleplay-wise, I don't see a reason why Sin should move out. I mean, he's... So Sin has to make sure things are working out. And politically and so on, you know. 
So there isn't much of a reason for him to go out anyway. Well, there's a huge group of bone dogs, but they are... Uh, yeah, they're ignoring me. Very good. It's very good that they ignore me. Looks like one of them is coming back. Still, okay, now they have aggro onto us. But I'm not sure if they are fast enough to catch up. They are not fast enough. I'm honestly just waiting for the big things to charge onto me. Right now it seems Gucci. Oh, they Gorilla Bandits. Okay, I thought as much. Oh, we got Okay, we are on hold. That's why I removed the hold here. Can't use his arms anymore. That's why he's trying to run away. And down he goes. And one thing that also makes me a bit curious is that the Gorilla Bandits are roaming this area. But this is like one of the most dangerous areas that are around. The fact that they are here is really weird because they are not that strong. I mean, Gorilla Bandits can do quite a bit of damage because they're all martial artists. But they aren't right, really strong, you know. Okay, we're gonna move on to Katoon here. We can check out. I mean, technically we can get another sleeping bag here, but... The question is, do we even need the sleeping bag at this? Oh, never mind. Uh, I just realized these guys are the trade ninjas. Apparently, I really have to take care because the trade ninjas are always around here. So that means I have to make peace with the trade ninjas and the skeleton traders. I have to set this up next episode because they are a bit pissed of me because, you know, the things that happened with the Dominion. Even though I think they should have not interfered because technically we're at war with them and yeah but it's it's fine i can fix this no worries guys i can and will fix this so so far we have not stumbled upon a big thing which is very nice i just want to also say that i don't really fear big things at this point i have dealt with the huge hordes okay the huge hordes of the Buckmaster with just like six or seven of my people. So I am not afraid of some puny little skin spiders roaming around here. I mean, they're not even like, what are they? Adult? I literally eat them for breakfast. Last time I was here. No, wait. Now nah, that was a different mod. I think it was the Star Wars mod where we were here. That makes sense. Okay, so we have... Oh, this still belongs to the United Cities. So no South and Nobles here. Okay. I see. Let's go in there. Nibble is on passive. We don't want to do that. Still got the United Cities on our hands, I see. I don't want to say this is going to be the last mistake, but yeah. This is the last time that we'll see them. Because I think the South then belongs to the South and Nobles. Kalaru is chilling and grilling down here. Might want to drop Tron. Yeah, you guys, come on the inside. It seems like Tron and Kalaru are stuck out there. After fighting the Dominion, this feels rather easy. Uh, Lord Shiro is in here. Abrarios, can you take care of this dude? Oh yeah, look at the nice hits we're doing there. So what are we going to do with this noble? I wonder. What are we going to do with this guy? So he's a model... Ah, edge type 2 weapon. Okay, Slink was still using an MK one, so that's a really huge upgrade there. Okay, they're too far away, but it's fine. She will use the first Nodachi. Okay, then. What is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the question is, what are we going to do with this guy? I really don't feel like... Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Worst thing... Worst things have happened to us. Is there anything close where I could bring this guy? I mean, I guess spring is not that far away. You know what? You're a lucky one. I'll spare your life. I'll bring you to the anti-slavers because I... I have a heart. And the anti-slavers will deal with you accordingly. 
Hello, guys. It's me. I'm from the Rebellion. Oh, yeah. Uh, as I was saying, this is going to be a lot of steamrolling on our part. I don't think there will be much they can do against us. I mean, while Slink is bringing him back, we can just completely destroy the city here. Also currently nighttime, so there isn't much we can do. As we should now be towering here. We're back in Suri's refuge, everything is looking good too. And I've been thinking about what to do with these farm people. If I should probably not give them some other jobs to do. Is there anything of value on that dude? I mean, I'd take the food, the drugs he can keep. 20,000 cats is 20,000 cats, right? So, since Katoon is gone now, the next thing would be the slave camp that is somewhere around here. So we're going to move towards the slave camp now. Once Slink is back, obviously. And we're still fighting around here. Taking him out. But I'll be completely honest. So now I do wonder, like, who are the Southern nobles? Like, will the Southern nobles now take this over? Well, the bounty hunters are attacking us. I mean, they really want to do that. I get it. Okay. I don't know why they want to do it, but they really want to do it. Yeah, like I said, after the Dominion, this is uh, really easy. And there is a big thing inside of this building here. With the cartoon scrap masters in here, but... I don't think they have anything of value. I mean, yeah, they're making their scrap master gear, but that's about it. So I guess I have to do this manually again. I mean, at least when you're running back, you're running really fast. 32 MPH. But I really miss Cyber Beep. Like, Cyber Beep was so fast. It was insane. Let me put you guys on hold here. I don't know what is Kalru doing up there. Kalru, no, come, come with me. I don't know if this is going to happen to all the cities that I'll bring the nobles over there, but we'll see. I really wonder when the South nobles start to show up. There are like really big groups of these striped hounds running around. I mean, I won't have a problem dealing with them, just saying. Oh, we discovered a slave market. Let's go. And there we are. We're just closing up the noble house, eh? This won't save them. You know, we're gonna smash it in. Because why not? There is no escape from repent. Isn't this the irony of Igor destroying your door to come to say hello? This guy is just a slave market master. He doesn't even have a name. I wish I was called slave market master. Where did the dude go? Oh, he's trying to run away. I mean, he is a slave market master, but he doesn't really have much. A oh, Swamp Turtle Alpha. Oh my! The Swamp Turtle Alpha, they have a lot of HP. Let's go with Swamp Black Market. One more noble gone, carry on, I guess, right? So what are we going to do with the, this noble? I really don't want to go back all the way. Just to bring him over to the anti-slavers. And then we're gonna wait for him to stand back up. Which he obviously will not do, because we'll play that. He's playing that again. Minus, he's dying, very good. Don't need the 20,000 cats, but I want to make sure he is out of the game. Because if he survives somehow, the slave market will be there again. Okay, we got the Manhunter base now. Which... Uh, does this Manhunter base... Um, okay, there he is. My game just crashed and I thought that Repent dropped the Noble. But apparently he did not, which is, which is very good. Don't want the Noble to be dropped here. No, don't heal him. Do not heal him. And I know he just decided to heal him. But I don't think they have a boss in here. But you know, what is destroyed is destroyed. Doesn't need, to, doesn't need a boss. 
Okay, my game is lagging now. Like, not lagging, but it's not responding to when I tell it to do something. So you tell them to move over there and it's hardly doing anything. But I guess we can say the Manhunter base over here is done for. So I would say we're moving to Clown Steady next. Okay, now follow up, guys. Make sure that no one is healing the slave market master. And he's a goner. Now, the slave market will not recover from this. What do we have here? We have the rebel farmers already fighting them in here. Wait, this already belongs to the rebel farmers. Ah, okay. Okay, I see. The fighting the shinobi thieves. Faction headquarter? The rebel farmers have a faction headquarter here. So that means there is not much left, is there? Can't be much left. Faction headquarter, they say. One thing is clear, this part of the map here is really not stable. I just crashed again. So... Seems like this part likes to crash. I just wanted to see if there is actually a leader in here. Since, you know, faction headquarter. But I don't think there is a distinct leader inside of here. That basically means that there isn't much left to do. There is one more town over here. Oh wait, that was the way station. Then I guess Drifter's last is the last bastion we have to defeat. Uh, by the way guys, if the United Cities are not controlling Drifter's last, I think that means then that was the last. Okay. Now that's interesting. Uh, this series might be over even faster than I expected. As it seems. Let's slink over here. I wanna check it out, okay? Was this really it? Did I miss anything? We got the hook raiders here. Uh, this still belongs to the United Cities, but... I mean, the South and Nobles. Oh, there we go. But we have we have enough time. We do have enough time. We could end this, this episode. I mean, I don't think it's worth it to do another episode to defeat them over here. It's not really worth it. Let's go in there and have some fun. That's what I would say. Hello, guys. It's me. Your friendly neighborhood man. Her toughness is really high. She she just she just took out her own slave with that swing. In case you ever felt bad for her, don't. It's a model edge type 2, Naginata, okay. Not that bad. Ooh, Angela is out. Really? Oh never mind. We're carrying her. Uh wait, we can bring it to Clown Steady, can we not? Do they not have a police station? I'm pretty sure they have a police station over there. Uh, okay, so... Is there a police station here? Or maybe we can just drop her... Into the faction headquarter. They... They have a prison cell here, yeah they do. So if I put her in... I think that's it. Uh, okay, I didn't... Expect this. I mean, I know this was going to be a bit easier than before, but this is just. Uh... Have I missed something? I don't think I have. That was the last city, I think. Well, I mean, I'm going to scavenge through some things. You guys can let me know in the comments. Maybe I've missed something, but I think we did it. Cartoon is gone. Clown City Drifters last. This over here is done. This over here belongs to us. Have two stowed. Port North is also in our hands. The Empire Peasants at least. I think that was it. I think we did it. I actually think we did it. Um, you know, let me know in the comments. Maybe I've missed something. But I think not. I think we are we're done for.
All right, guys, then I say thank you for watching. And this might be the last episode before that. Uh, in case that, uh, well, in case it, it is like that. And next episode will be the last one. Or if you want to write an outro for your own character. Keep in mind, let's just say, what would your character do in 20 years from now? Or let's say 25 years. Let me make it 20 years. What will, what will your character do in 20 years from now? Like from this point, where we're currently in the game, 20 years later, what would your character be doing? I'm just dropping this information here in case this is the last episode, or like the last episode before that. And yeah, I'm gonna wait for you guys' comments before I start working on the next episode, but it seems like we did it. I mean, yeah, of course I could like keep playing and, you know, make a base here and there, but I don't... I don't see a reason for doing that. Because I can, like, this 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 base here, I can build this for the outro, that's not a problem. You know? Alright guys, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye!